climb just lower and lower. But I refuse to go down. The music does not move me to let some nameless male cut me loose and carry me home with him. I just like to dance. <laughs> rap songs rap women in plastic globe doll rappers. But once the song stops, I can shrug off that skin to reveal me unaffected. I don't feel echoes. I don't feel implications. My bones are not faceted stones that throw reverberations off each surface until they build into outrage at offenses against women. And it bothers me that that doesn't bother me. I never joined the army rented by Rosie, but their gazes scrape me up and down, objecting to my voluntary objectification. I tell myself my blood boils at a different temperature when his laughter tumbles out the back of his throat, hooked at the end of a punchline, swinging off the sharp edge of a black joke. He <laughs> accuses me of being too sensitive. I tell them the song is not a big deal. They explain. I reply, someone is offended, so it must be offensive. Hmm. I tell myself I spent my time as a child teasing apart layers of black skin. I search for the hue that, boasts, that best fit with both parents and peers, the one that would help me slip through the cracks in the glass ceiling and break a B-plus on an essay, hmm. graded by a white, female, English teacher. Hmm. I tell myself, my otherness is rooted only in race, color more salient than rounding hips and growing breasts. Half of my honors class had my shape, but none my shade. Mm. And then I got to college. Mm. Discovered activists who raised their fists in a flex, clutching a different brand of impassioned righteousness between their fingers. I recognized the fist well. The twins that must have closed it, the history that must have raised it, but there stands against misogynistic rap lyrics. And mine against the assumption that I know the song. Mm. I tell myself, I don't have room in my fist for two fights. For those that do, more empowerment to you. Mm. But I choose to dance. Dip and squat beneath flashy words that whisper in my ear and push me lower and lower. I gather my desensitized shell around me and ignore my future daughter, dipping and squatting to be flashy words. I tell myself, she deserves better. Maybe I do too. Wow.